one game. This is the second one. This is the second one for Firenze, and okay, I they, they are playing more. for the position seven to the ninth place against the Black Mermaid. Okay, seven to nine. They have uh, also a triangle are like fr the same from the first to the third seven place. Seven to nine uh, from ten. Um, so we have 207 people watching um, in the live stream, and uh, always look in the camera. <laughs> so we're running out of things we can talk about, Jörg. How could this happen? Uh, are we? Uh, do we agree really on everything? Do we agree on everything right we now? We no, have I don't think so. But um, three and, and a half you hours to you go. You stop to argue something funny. Did I? Yes. How could this happen? I have no idea. Imagine we're, we're, we know each other for quite a long time, but I didn't think it happened so fast. <laughs> As a really, um, yeah, I'm when a you run out of energy and run, of, uh, run out of questions, uh, I can I can you tell you stories about history of underwater rugby? Um, I have something to talk about. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I give you. What about? Uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. No. Um, Focus. We still have yeah. three and a half hours to go. Yeah. But and we, have, we have no and, game. and the best games are coming up. I know the best, um, the most um, exciting, games. exciting games. Yes. Um, I think that the one of the key game will be uh, um, the Langen game against yeah. and Orcas and with Molde. Against Orcas, yeah, Orcas Molde, Molde that, 2030. That I think that, uh, after it's right that one. after this one, yes. yes. And then uh, Langen uh, against Castores will be at 9.30. I think so we have still the wrong... Uh, um, uh, the team names are not correct anymore. We have uh, Firenze in blue playing against the Black Mermaids in white. Jens, the the team anzeigen stimmen gerade nicht mehr. Ah, danke. So we have now um, the. Um, so Firenze. Black Mermaids are in attack. So I think uh, um, uh, Firenze is uh, the dominating team. Um yeah, I think so too. Um, let's see, I believe. Mm. So Firenze in blue and uh, the mermaids in uh, white. The uh, mermaids always played uh, blue. And this is uh, quite difficult for me to... Uh, I remember? think you know, you know, in not that stage of the tournament, uh, the physical condition yes, is uh, the most true. important it, it's part of the, the team, and you yeah. see, see really how how much energy is left, uh, yeah. and that uh, that it's a turning point that will be also in the final games uh, which is coming up. Uh, so uh, Firenze is in defense here, and uh, the Mermaids try to build up uh, attack momentum, which uh, doesn't seem to work sorry, out that fine. Sorry. The defense is uh, mermaids. Ha! Huh, here we go. That's why... Uh, uh, you were surprised. Yes, I'm surprised. You, uh, every time you surprise me. So, um, mermaids are in defense. That's what I wanted to say. But now we change uh, again. Now uh, Firenze is in defense. Now I'm right? Correct. Oh, wow, perfect. Uh, and the mermaids are trying to get uh, over the basket and build uh, an attack. There's now a one attack uh, from the open side. Um, a little bit half-hearted, uh, but nevertheless, if you have the chance and go into the change of the goalies, uh, if you're in the right spot, there could uh, uh, be even half-hearted, uh, be the chance to score. So we have a... I think we're going to have a lot of fighting in the clusters, surface in this yeah. game. Sadly I think it's going to um, be a lot of clustering. And that makes... Uh, just cut the whole flow of the game, make, I mean, make the girls e exhausted, and so they have even less strength to swim and to move. And mm. uh, now we're in the middle of the pool. If you, you, you're on the bottom of the pool and you uh, play the ball quick, it, it's it's not so exhausting to get uh, no. instead of going in clusters. And clusters, yes. clusters, clusters are makes totally only training. sense if you... <laughs> You're leading 1-0. Exactly. Yeah, and it's the last 30 the seconds. Yes. Yeah, and then it's the last minute or something like that. You might know out of history, sorry. Uh, I had a clustering game Stay about 20, 27 minutes. Focus. 
focus. <laughs> um, so uh, um, Firenze is here in defense, but the mermaids, the attack of the mermaids, uh, don't have the push uh, to break through the defense of Firenze. Now we're yeah, back again in the cluster yeah. in the corner yeah. of the close side. If they don't keep the ball on the bottom, it's there's no advantage. So the, the and that is uh, the most important point. Even if you're exhausted, keep the ball on the bottom. Try to avoid the surface. Exactly. What's the name of the, the sport? Huh? What's the name of the sport? Yeah, exactly, Lorena. It's underwater rugby, not uh, under surface swimming rugby. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so we have an attack here from uh, Firenze now on the side of uh, Black Mermaids. And uh, there is no defense. Mm, let's see, maybe it's uh, Feve can uh, put out the beast modus again and score. Uh, it's really impressive I what she did. Like the beast mode. I, I, it's really impressive what they did in the, in the last game with three goals. Uh, she scored from the open she side. She's a very strong player yeah. and she has a lot of experience and uh, a good technique. Yeah, but she's so taking break on the surface. On yeah. the surface, that doesn't help. Mm. So you see um, um, almost all the players are uh, in the at the surface now, only the defense. Now all the players are in the surface, only one goalkeeper from uh, Black Mermaid is down. And uh, these both teams look exhausted, and even new players coming in from yeah, the changing line. That's the second game they have each one of them. Nevertheless, Sorry. it's late in the evening, and uh, uh, it, you don't know. It's just. Uh, uh, I think um, that it's lack of, of condition and, uh, uh, in from general. The close side, taking away the goalkeeper, but the push to the goal was too late. So keep the, the, the ball always free to play and uh well if Finance can uh, keep that uh, the game like that uh, they will find a, a, a gap and uh, probably an open basket because both teams seem to be exhausted and uh, not on their uh, uh, on their physical height so uh, it's uh it's a time play they do here and not a uh, beautiful rugby. What, what do I see? They're, they're only attacking with two, two ladies. There are three yes. on the surface. Uh, yeah. Even only that's one. Too much. That's too much. Yeah. And when uh, you can see on the line three, there's one laying on the surface. Or no. On the front line, there's one laying, don't dive, uh, descend. And now on the second lane, there's one, don't descend. There's always two. Too many uh, Francis ladies. Three you can see on the surface. So that is uh, that we they weaken themselves. Yeah, like that. This is we we see almost the uh, both teams in the in the close corner of uh, the Black Mermaid uh, side of the pool, and uh, only goalkeeper and defender down. The rest of the both teams are uh, half-hearted uh, up on the surface or a little bit down a meter down in the water and uh, the, the passes are really uh, dangerously uh, uh, they're not enough and they're uh, intercepted and we have now a one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh mm, that was a good catch from the foot checker from uh, yeah, Fidenze. Fidenze. but you know um, there's a call from a referee they are two thirds of the time on the surface and one third on the water, and, and so far we have been seeing teams that have done exactly the opposite. And then you, um, also the 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 four checking uh, that it's not happening from the defender, like instead of you know going up straight, like to go towards uh, the um, the one in position of the ball before they go up, you know, to this kind of triangle. There's a lot of out. elements are missing, and it's just you know go up and down. Okay, and now Wolf, for your reference, I tell you the secret of on the water rugby. Yes, you want me to switch out the 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 three, three, three rules: descent, descent, descent. Ah, do you know the first rule? Avoid ascent. Okay. Do you know the rule of the six P's? Six P's has that to do something with underwater rugby. Um. Yes. Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Mm, doesn't oh. matter on the water rugby. <laughs> you can plan whatever execution. <laughs> Only execution counts. Timeout. So 15 seconds left in the timeout. Uh, we don't know who took it. Uh, looks a little bit like uh, uh, the mermaids took it because they are discussing hard here. And uh, uh, Firenze is just waiting the time and recover. 
two minutes 47 seconds left from the first time and both teams, I mean none of them are really in possession of the ball more than the other and um, they are pretty much uh, living from the mistakes of the other, they're not really forcing any mistakes they don't have really a pattern of attack or defend, they just do depending on the situation and um, they don't have a lot of underwater time so yeah and I, I mean I think it's the same game both sides no one is really Italy is a little little bit every now and little then it looks like it look like but not really look at this right now black like is underneath the, the, the basket with three and, and in situations like this, both teams could uh, score when there is a possibility the ball, the ball just drops down and there is no goalkeeper or no defender. Um, it could easily be a score, but that would be pure luck. Um, we don't see the, the, the will to attack and we have a cluster now on the surface. Again, uh, there are at least uh, three, two Mermaids and two Firenze players in this cluster. Uh, that's, that's too much. Even uh, doing a cluster at all is uh, not a good idea. Um, but when you're exhausted, it looks like the best po better possibility to have uh, air to breathe, but it uh, drains you. Now Fidenzi is uh, going in uh, on the basket of the mermaid. Here it is. One was score. No. Was the score? Um, yes. No. Yes. Yeah? yes, yes. One but they zero. are not celebrating, really. Four. Was it? Yes. It looks like. It looks like. One yes. zero and one minute left. There was there was no applause on the on the uh, Fidenza side. They are so tired, even they cannot <laughs> make <laughs> <laughs> the celebration. Oh well, now black mermaids are coming. Maybe this force the black mermaids to go a little bit more outside the comfort zone and wake up and maybe try to push a little bit harder on the Fidens uh, basket um, but I think um, this shows that uh, Fidens uh, even though they, they have quite similar ways of, of playing um, already as we, we, we said uh, earlier they are a bit stronger and, and they attack a little bit more um, precise so one zero and I don't think uh, the Black Mermaids will be able to score and probably in the second half uh, we'll have uh, another score from, from Firenze. That's the end of the first half. Three minutes break now. This really did look exhausting uh, because because not it was that fast but the players looked exhausted. Um, so again, uh, there is a Julian uh, from my team and a Sven from my team. They do uh, a lot of the work uh, here on the referee table. And uh, big thanks, <coughs> first of all, uh, sure to the referees um, doing the refereeing here in the Champions Cup. Uh, I repeat what I said yesterday. It looks uh, sometimes easy and there's a lot of complaining about uh, refereeing and what is not doing, uh, what is not good and how you could, uh, 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 how they couldn't see what happened. But it's really difficult to, to be a good referee and everybody who's complaining should do it by himself. And uh, it's very exhausting to be down in the water with uh, the oxygen bottle. Uh, I, I get cold very much, very fast if I stay down there and cannot move that much even when I swim uh, back and forth. Uh, that's not enough. I need on the water rugby to stay warm. Thank you, uh, Jörg, for uh, your uh, uh, thank you. Com yeah, yeah, comfort. <laughs> thank you. I could need more of that. That's that's really eh, nice. Antes thank ganó you. Australia and contra Barcelona 2 a 1 por los penalties. Sorry, also thanks to the uh, also thanks to the guys at the referee table. Um, you see us sitting here talking all the time but doing the referee table even though it's in the hall and you see all the games it's still exhausting sitting there all the time being uh, um, concentrated uh, writing down uh, the important uh, uh, parts 
uh, what, who had a three throw against whom, taking the time, uh, um, it's, it's, it's very exhausting and uh, we couldn't do a tournament without uh, the people uh, all around, it's us here in the live stream uh, up front and you see us, but there are uh, many of my team, especially Sport Horror and also uh, Berlin Underwater Rugby and uh, DUC Berlin, uh, the, both uh, the three teams in Berlin uh, that do a lot of the work uh, here at Champions Cup and I think uh, all of those who uh, uh, did uh, organize a tournament once uh, know you depend on the people uh, you don't see all the time but do a lot of work and big thanks uh, to those who did it in Sandia 4, to those uh, who did it in Cali, those who did it in Mul Mülheim, uh, all in all these tournaments around the world. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't be possible without no, the underwater it wouldn't be possible community. without uh, the community. And uh, you think it's hard for us to sit here for 12 hours, sit 12 hours uh, on the referee table next to the pool. That's also a tough job. So, uh, 16 hours. 16 hours, yeah, it was just like. Uh, okay, the game starts again. Uh, we have uh, the cool back of Malmö in front of us. Uh, but now we're back in the game. Firenze against the Mermaids. Mermaids are on the right. Firenze is on the left in blue. Mermaids in uh, white. And it's a 1 0 for Firenze. A um, little bit like we predicted. Firenze looks a little bit stronger. Both teams. Uh, do look exhausted and we have already Firenze uh, on attack uh, at the, on the um, mermaid basket but uh, you see it in the movement and the ball passes the teams are tired and uh, they are uh, mentally trained mentally and physically trained uh, after this long day even though uh, they, they only had uh, two games and now we see uh, Firenze coming in uh, on the Basket, uh, one attack uh, on the height of the goalkeeper, the other one a little bit down on the close side. Uh, but now the ball is uh, up uh, on the surface at the wall. And uh, this is the mobile camera putting a. Oh, hello guys. <laughs> Malmö is uh, just beautiful. Um, the city, I mean. <laughs> and uh, this is. Uh, Oh, 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 this could be uh, the decision maker. Wow. I mean, how can you not call it stronger? I'm, I'm a little bit speechless for what I saw. There there, were the, there was the empty basket and one of the mermaids swimming to this empty basket and one of the uh, Firenze girls clinging to her, yeah, you just know, because wrapped she around did her. Because the, she did... It's so, I mean... The uh, the, 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 uh, exactly, Jörg. That's exactly what I wanted to say. A I can, can a own goal. I don't know. They make their own goal. She's there swimming in the wrong direction. Yes. That's why the Firenze player let her and push her a little bit. Uh, for one ha. second, I was a little bit surprised. So that, that, that's the surprise. She, she lost totally where she Me are. Me too. Yes. I'm playing with <laughs> the mermaids right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that is something. Unbelievable. Uh, yes. I that think that's what I'm I speechless. think everyone is yeah, speechless. <laughs> it's a, it's that's the first <laughs> time. That's really the first time I've seen this in a tournament. Well, I've seen in the league, in the national league. Yeah, but I saw it also. Sometimes I heard the rumors of national league, and that someone, even someone, I saw some game where the the, 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 the goalkeeper, their own goalkeeper, tried to protect it. <laughs> no, and they took him away and scored, and he he get out of the water, and, and nobody was celebrating him. <laughs> <laughs> that's Poor great. Thing. Well, that's a, that's a little I mean, bit I'm of so a confusion. Sorry. It's horrible. And that's and the you third feel so one. Miserable. Okay, this is th this will not feel good for the Marriott, and I feel a little bit sorry for them because uh, uh, at this moment it's it's really uh, uh, they they don't look happy. What do you think? I mean, they were <coughs> they they still had a chance to do a difference, and right now um they were one, one, one zero behind, and then. Uh, and suddenly, with their own mistake, and right after that, uh, another goal, 3 0. Because I think they were so perplexed, you know, they, <laughs> they don't know what Probably. happened there. Yes. Wow. So that huh. means as a physical condition, it's always important because when your body do not uh, work anymore, then you make uh, mistakes. Yeah. And that is. Uh, 
But it's it's a yeah, thing. It's, it's mentally it's and physically here because yeah. uh, um, um, you're just trained and uh, you just if, keep if, on going. If you're tired, it's like yeah. uh, driving a car. So yeah. if you're tired, you should take a break. Yeah. Otherwise, you make the wrong decision. You could see that happened here. Yes, that's true. And it's a pity that it's in such kind of game. Huh? So if you because uh, they still had the chance to make a difference, and right now that's it's lost. Yeah. Now the, the the game is gone. So yes, 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 yes. You yes. Know, you have five minutes. Uh, you cannot do four goals. No, yeah. not in this uh, condition. If if they were in their prime and uh, really uh, up to it, uh, you could make a change in in uh, six minutes. But uh, in the game we see right here, uh, nothing will nothing great will happen. Um, Wow, this was a uh, yeah, interesting change. Yeah, we were always speechless. We seemed <coughs> like yeah. recovering from that. I didn't. That. It was just like uh, incredible. Huh. Oh well. Um, Ugh. Five more minutes uh, to go, and uh, the black mermaids are recovering from what just happened in the last two minutes. Um, and Firenze is taking advantage that uh, they seem to have lost all the concentration that was left and now you can tell Firenze is uh, mm, a bit more consistent in attacking and a bit more in possession uh, of the ball um, and, and the black made may us like yeah accepted the situation I think uh, they're still trying to understand what happened but um, we still have uh, how many more ma games eight no s uh, only six games uh, to come. The next one is a very expected one. Orcas versus Molde. Another goal. 4-0 uh, and in uh, five minutes we have, or actually in eight and about seven minutes or so, we'll have the next game. Orcas versus Molde. This is going to be one of the highlights yes, uh, and after I the game uh, before of we start um, I will I'll, I'll like to have you know mini every now and then to uh, translate a bit to Spanish uh, for the Spanish speaking community but when don't use bad language please um, I cannot promise that <laughs> <laughs> my, my mom highlights. taught me well <laughs> <laughs> yes <coughs> <coughs> so let's let's still stay uh, in the game uh, I think it's a respect uh, to, to for us as commentators uh, to stay as much in the game, even uh, if we think it's uh, over and it's still three minutes, 34. And um, uh, both teams uh, look like they, they have enough of the water for today. And uh, th the movements are uh, slow and only the most necessary uh, uh, teammates dive down. Uh, so another attack from Fri for Firenze, but uh, but that's playing now smart. Uh, if yeah, they keep yeah. the ball, don't uh, go in the attack. So they protect and, and, uh, and, yeah. and you see the mermaids uh, did not make any forechecking anymore. So if they they control the ball, then it would be fine. But they should get more help. Otherwise, they go get in clustering again. But this is a good pass. Um. Changing the side would be suitable. So that still the two players on the surface, they came down much too late. The, it's they, they don't have to do much right now um, to keep the ball moving and be in ball control because the, the, uh, the mistakes they made here, they lost the ball and now it's more even more exhausting for them uh, to fight back, to go in uh, defense. And uh, oh, that was a bad pass, uh, like we've seen uh, before. Uh, one player uh, throwing the ball, and uh, the the accepting player didn't see it, so it just uh, uh, fell down. Um, bad one. But now a Firenze is again in ball possession and going back uh, to the Black Mermaid basket. Um, two against two. And the mermaid player, no, the Firenze player tries to get uh, to the basket over the head of the goalkeeper down to her player, but they lost the ball. And the ball is uh, again in possession of uh, the black mermaids right in front yeah, of no their basket. Yeah, but no one is helping her. She's no, alone she's fighting against three She blue. cannot, uh, the mermaid cannot get away. Uh, everybody's diving up, and when you dive up with the ball into this 
uh, already tied last time. Now we have uh, two uh, mermaids against uh, one. This well, Firenze. again, I understand that they didn't achieve the goal. <coughs> this I mean, the this should be a, a goal, front. but uh, it tells something about the uh, level of exhaustion. Uh, they they feel because two against one. Uh, especially if the goalkeeper is sitting City. right in front of the, the basket, they come from both sides. Uh, now we have a f uh, fighting on the surface and the Firenze player is uh, fighting, going down, coming from above, playing down to the player uh, on the open side, but uh, did not manage. Yeah, it does manage. Uh, I was just starting to say uh, should go out again because she didn't score but then she scored so quite well done and uh, it's uh, 30 seconds 25 seconds left so this game is uh, almost over and the black mermaids are defeated 5-0 uh, it was a, a really uh, a pity for them i think they uh, um, was not earned uh, to to be this this with five goals. No, uh, at the beginning, so um, yeah. really um, the the chance for them maybe to to score. But after that, it's amazing how just one single act can change yes. Yes. the whole uh, game in in this level of, of game. And but also we've seen it in 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 in, in a more experienced team. Yeah. So now the uh, people in the live stream should uh, go up uh, because uh, we will have. Uh, Molde against Orca. Colombia, Orca se está por jugar contra Molde. Tenemos a Colombia conectado, mirando. 